It it is May fifth, so we could say May fifth be with you. No, that doesn't work. I mean, the Star Wars just ends on May fourth, so May fifth. You know, there's something to that. I mean, it's interesting. We're already in May, and and school year is almost over, and before you know it, you'll be in middle school, and we'll have spent half the year <laughs> not in school. Kind of funny. All right, press pause. And we're back. Give the plural noun octopus. The plural of octopus isn't, well, I guess you could say octopuses. Um, but we're going to say oct, not opt, octopi. And yes, we could say octopuses like that. That would be fine too. This doesn't like octopi. That's kind of funny. Did I, I didn't spell it wrong. No, that's that's where it should be. All right, choose the best words to complete the sentence. I wear a an raincoat. So an, you only use it when you have a vowel sound that follows. So that will be a. I wear a raincoat and take an umbrella because umbrella is a vowel sound. Let's correct these sentences. Me and him wanted to see the new exhibit at SeaWorld Aquarium. All right. Um, it's not me and him. It's not me and him. It sounds good, but it's him and I. He, he and I, he and I, what is it? I don't like how that sounds, but that's what's correct. He and I wanted to see the, not new that's like you know something it should be brand new new exhibit exhibit at sea world needs to be capitalized sea world aquarium period well oh, it's a period if you spell it right boom all right next one why don't he play quiet while the baby is napping so it should be why doesn't apostrophe t why doesn't he play quietly quietly while the baby is napping and that ends in a question mark because it's a question all right next word Give the comparative, give the comparative and superlative adjectives. So comparative would be adding ER, superlative is EST. So that would be prettier and prettiest. Remember, we got to drop the Y and add the I to it. Okay. All right. That's it for May 5th. We'll see you on May 6th.